we just got brand new gameplay footage of Zucosis thanks to Summer Games Fest. This footage explains a little bit more about what's going on and gives us our first look at a new mutated animal. So let's jump into this trailer and take a closer look at some of these creatures. The opening shot shows us waking up on the floor to see an old man sitting on the couch. I'm not sure why we would have been passed out on the floor. Maybe it was from the animals. But what's more important is the person. The devs did mention there will be other people in the game, but for some reason it caught me off guard to see another employee. At least I think it's another employee. Rather, this is probably the owner of the zoo. We see him many times throughout the trailer, and he seems to know a lot about the zoo, but I'll talk about him later on. In the following shot, we are moving the animal's food, and you'll notice both vegetables and herbs. However, there is no meat. Most of the animals we know about in this game are herbivores, but there is a reasoning behind this, and the devs said it's something that we will find out why in-game. Following this, we see one of the parasites crawling on the wall. This makes me think these parasites will be freely crawling around the zoo, and we will probably have to avoid them at all costs. Now, in this trailer, one of the devs talks about how the parasite's infection is kind of reprogramming the animal's biology. This is why their bodies mutate so drastically. He then mentions the giraffe, and how its head is like a large anaconda slithering around with its jaw unhinged, trying to fight you. Definitely a terrifying situation to think about. The concept of the giraffe set the basis of each animal having their own unique design in their mutation, meaning the design of the giraffe is what led to the other animals looking just as grotesque. After cutting up the food and taking it to the train, we hear a loud bang on one of the doors and ask what it is. The guy here says it's something in the works and that we are not ready to know about yet. This could mean a few different things. Maybe this guy, presumably the zoo's owner, knows about the mutations and is actively supporting it, meaning he wants the animals to mutate for some reason. Or this could mean he just knows about it and isn't ready to tell us because he thinks we might quit our job. Yeah, I would definitely leave if he told me what was really going on. Now, I don't think this person is bad or evil, but I do think he knows a lot about what's really going on. I mean, instead of stopping it himself, he is just letting us do the dirty work, which I guess makes sense if he's the owner and we are the employee. But still, he definitely knows more than what he's letting on. I'm sure he will play a big role in the game. The trailer then cuts to one of the devs talking about the game. I'm not going to try and pronounce her name because I know I'll butcher it, but she is the one that's very active in the Discord server, often answering questions. She talks about how the plot of Zucosis was written in the best traditions of the thriller and horror genre. The team aimed to create a dark atmosphere resembling the works of horror and mystery writers like Lovecraft and Edgar Allan Poe. She mentions how this was achieved through lighting placement, color correction, textures, and environmental props. So the devs are really focusing on the atmosphere and setting of the game to fully enhance the horror experience. This is great to hear, meaning they won't just be relying on the animals for the game's horror. She also talks about the many different endings of the game, how each of the endings depend on the choices we make during our playthrough. The team dedicated a substantial amount of time structuring the paths and dialogues into unified frameworks to ensure seamless functionality. So there won't just be different cutscenes for all the endings. Each one will have its own unique path with different dialogue and an altered environment. Multiple endings is something we already knew about, but it's awesome to see that they are spending a lot of time making sure each one is unique in its own way. This will give the game a ton of replayability. The trailer then takes us inside the train or as this guy calls it, the mobile veterinary station. Here we will be mixing medications for the animals. This train might be the central hub of the game a place where we go to make the antidote and prepare the food. We do know that the train will be how we get around the zoo. However, it's not entirely safe. Following this, we shoot one of the giraffes with a tranquilizer dart. We then see one start to bang its head on the fence. While this is happening, we ask the guy if the animals are sick. Like I said, we don't really know what's going on here. He tells us they can be. We need to closely monitor the health of the animals, as there are some quite rare specimens. That is a very interesting interesting choice of words. Continuing on, we get shown a glimpse of the dark and disturbing atmosphere the devs were talking about.
This massively long mutated arm pops out in front of us. I'm not sure what animal this is from. I don't think this is from anything we've seen yet. This could be the same hand we saw from the train. But the dark hallway and blue lighting really gives us that eerie and unsettling feeling, showing us what the dev was talking about. And we see the arm again when we turn around. I wonder if this creature will be following us throughout the game, giving us scares. Continuing on, we get an up close look at the mutated kangaroo. This thing Thing looks terrifying. Its eyes are completely gray, with its mouth and tongue enlarged, including many sharp teeth. As the kangaroo stands up on its back legs to scream, we get an awesome shot of its second mouth. This is in place of the kangaroo's pouch. It has mutated into another mouth, also including many teeth. It seems to also mimic what the other mouth does. When it screams, the second one does too, which is a cool detail. I can't wait to run into this monster in the game. Which brings us to the mutated hippo. This creature looks incredible. It's both cool and horrifying. It perfectly represents what a mutated hippo might look like. A normal hippo's teeth are usually long and sort of stick out, and the teeth on this mutated one greatly represents that, even including the two pointed out bottom teeth. What's also interesting is the teeth act as its mouth and jaw. It's like a giant claw with fingers. Its bones are also overgrown. You can see the spine protruding out of its back and even a shoulder or leg bone is sticking out. The bones in its feet are also exposed. The detail on this animal is just incredible. However, its eyes are red, which is different from the mutated kangaroo. So this could mean something, or it could just be a design choice. The hippo also has these weird bubbles growing out of its back. I can't get over how cool this thing looks. I can't wait to run into it in game, although we should definitely stay away from it. One of the last shots in the trailer is is kind of interesting. This guy tells us that every zookeeper is entitled to a service car and then shows us his, being this red one. If we perform our job well, we will get one in the morning. So this means if we do our job correctly and make it out alive, we will be rewarded with a new car. I guess that's a pretty cool incentive. Now this girl next to the car is actually our wife, as said by the guy. He then asks if he should tell her that we are going to be staying here overnight, and to keep in mind that he is locking us in until morning. This gives us a little bit more backstory as to who we are, which I can appreciate. The final shot of the trailer shows us getting a blood sample from an animal and petting a penguin. This makes me wonder what the penguins might look like mutated. I was not expecting this new footage, but it was so cool to see and I'm glad they gave us a look at the mutated hippo. I am so excited for this game and I can't wait to play it. Are you looking forward to Zucosis? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like horror game content like this, please consider subscribing. Also, if you want to support the channel more, you can become a member. Don't forget to follow my Twitter at TerrifyT. Thanks for watching.